You're all here to support Sport Relief. Well, good luck with that, Gary. Sport Relief Weekend. Keep giving. Tonight from 7 on BBC One. that time of the week again. Half an hour of super fast fun. <laughs> super fast games. Come on, release the balloon. And super fast laughs. <laughs> it's Bezel's game show. It'll be the most super fast half hour you've ever spent watching telly. So keep up, keep up and enjoy. <laughs> Why should you never fall in love with a tennis player? I don't know. Why should you never fall in love with a tennis player? Because to them, love means nothing. <laughs> Miss me. <laughs> Got me. OK, it's the first round of games. Dunkability for the nation. Let's meet the team. Look like a butterfly, sting like a bee. You can't beat us, we're Luke and Ellie. Buzz. Oh, we are the tigers, the stripes and claws. Birds or bees will spot you in a pause. Here we come, Severus, ready to end game. And if you think you're gonna win, well, say. We are the Severus, and we are the best. We are going to beat the rest. Come on, you Severus, we can win. We're gonna shove our opponents in the bin. OK, it's a knockout competition, which means three teams are going to start, but only one team will have the chance to win. And go home with all the big prizes. Ooh! Team B's, you lost the toss, so you're going first. Luke, how are you feeling? Nervous, but excited. That's the perfect mixture, that is. All right, Ellie, a good push from you. Are you ready? Yeah. Beautiful. Basil, let's do it. OK, go on the P the push. Three, two, one, push! That's a good Come on, Dan. It's going to know it's still in minus 100. Let's go to Frosty to get the official scores. Getting a confirmation of the scores on Frosty's fridge doors. It wasn't a very good push for the beast. It's minus 100 points. <laughs> get yourself together, Frosty. <laughs> Next up is Team Tigers. Claudia's on the bed. George is pushing. What score are you going to be happy with here? Um, anything between zero and a thousand. OK, not too specific then. Ready for the push? Yeah. Let's do it, Basil. Will the Tigers be perfect? Find out in three, two, one. Push! Come on, That's a nice push. Feels quite strong. It's a very Feels good. very strong. I think that's a dunk. It still feels like a dunk. It's a dunk. <laughs> You've wet your bed, Neil Poir. <laughs> Tiger Claudia. Oh, look at that face. Boof! Oh, what a dank face. The best yet, she'll swallow all the watery ganj if she's not careful. Oh, great. Confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge doors. They were so nearly perfect, but they've got zero points. Team Zebra's fair as they push the bed down there. Jack, what score would you be happy with here? Um, either from zero to 1,000. OK, you've got it all to do, Harry. Let's see if you can. Basil, we're ready. We're going in three, two, one, push! Oh, oh, come on, Zebra! That's a very precise, controlled push. Very controlled. It's actually a very good push. It's going to slow down a little bit, weirdly. Is it going to be a positive? It could be in the scoring zone, though. Let's go to Frosty and see what he says. Confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge doors. They didn't go into the drink, but they get another zero points. It's zero points for the Zebras. Yeah! Just 
checking the scores at the halfway point. The bees are trailing with their minus 100 points, but the tigers and the zebras are locked together with the same points. One did it the wet way, one did it the dry way. They've got zero points. <laughs> boom, boom. Yay! OK, it's time for the double dunk round, or double dunk, if you're French. I don't think they say it like that. Now, listen, Georgia. Here, you score double points. If you get more than minus 100, of course, you're through to the next rounds. What would you be happy with? Um, anything above zero. <laughs> OK, that's all good. You ready for this, Claudia? Yes. OK, Basil, let's do it. Come on, Tigers, get your claw into a positive score. Three, two, one, push! Come on! That's a very good push. finish in 10, so let's go to Frosty and make sure we can confirm those scores. Well, they certainly weren't caught catnapping there, confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge doors. We double the 10 points they scores to 20 points, combining that with their first round score of zero points, it's 20 points for the Tigers! <laughs> Double dunk, we're feeling the funk. Now, you've got to get more than 10 in this, OK? If you score more than 10, you will go through to the next round. How do you feel about that? Um, I'm feeling good, but quite nervous at the same time. Well, let's see what happens. Basil, we're ready. No horsing around, Zebras. Going in three, two, one, push! Come on, down. Nice push from Jack. Looks like an excellent Stay nice and still on there. The answer to that question is no, it stayed in the zero. Let's go to Frosty. I'm afraid they were horsing around, just confirming the scores on Frosty's fridge doors. Another zero points there. Combined with their first round score of zero points, they get, ooh, zero points! <laughs> Cheesy faces over there, the tigers and the zebras waiting in anticipation to see how the bees are going to do in this push. Now, you need to score 50 or more, Ellen. Are you up for the challenge? Yeah. All right, then. Let's do it. Basil, we're ready. You're going to have to get busy, bees. Going in three, two, one, push! Come on, push. bees. Make it a good one. Looks ice cold, but not for long, because it's ice cold now. Hit above water, chicken. Always worth a second look, though. Wee, buzzy splash. The bees go into the drink. Let's go to Frosty for the scores. Confirming the scores for the bees. There, no sting in their tail, because they've scored zero points. We double it to ooh zero points. Add it to their minus one hundred points in the first round. I'm afraid the bees have got minus one hundred points. <laughs> So, that means the Tigers and the Zebras are through to the next round. Well done, we'll see you there, guys. But that means we've got to say goodbye to the bees. I know. What have you enjoyed the most about being here, Ellen? Um, everything, really. Really? Including the wheelie bin pencil sharpeners? Yes, yes of course, you go away with those. And uh, you also get one more thing. Basil? They get their G-R-H, their gorilla ride home! Yeah! Here you go, guys. Take them away. Cheers, Luke. See you later. Bye, Ellen. So, the bees are off travelling in style. What's going to happen with the tigers and the zebras? Stay tuned to find out. What nothing? What? Nothing. Uh... What? Nothing. I see. Did you hear about Warren? I see. Did you 
hear about what in? Well, uh, did you... Did you hear him? Sorry. <clears throat> did you hear about Warren upstairs? No. Well, he's been wearing a rabbit on his head. Why would Warren wear a rabbit on his head? Because he's got no hair. <laughs> Get it? He's got no hair. <laughs> 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 And right, and swish, and left, and swish, and lunge. Very good. Oh, I say, did you hear about Joe? Turned up at the Olympics with a roll of barbed wire. Really? Yeah, he came third in the fencing. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Come on. And right, and lunge. Oh. That was embarrassing. <laughs> It's the second round of games, and it's the Tigers versus the Zebras. Well, press my apples into non-alcoholic cider. <laughs> Patiently waiting to be dropped for the next game are 100 crab apples. Like these. And they feel remarkably like balloons, actually. They're coming your way, Barney. I'm ready. Boing. Thank you, there Buzzer. You go. Catch it. <laughs> now, these crab apples are the grandchildren of their crab apple grandma, Granny Smith. I don't like those apples. Now, I know that toffee apples might be more glamorous, and Bramley apples are down with Mr. Clippily. You get me, blood? But no one likes their crab apples more than their dear old grandma. Look at Adam. He's the apple of his granny's eye. But don't tell Granny Smith. But the crab apples are a bit pointless, aren't they? But crab apples, the game is anything but. It's quite brilliant. We've got the apples, but. What about the crabs? Yay! Hello! Yay! I've seen you lot before giving it all that. You better not pinch my crab apples too hard. You know what? They are actually quite squishy. What? Oh! Adam! My own flesh and blood and pips! No! <laughs> Apple Bobby? That's so 2007. This is Crab Apples, the game taking 2008 by storm. So here's how the game works. There are 100 crab apples waiting to be dropped on top of our crabs. The zebras are going to be popping the red ones and the tigers are popping the green. And the crabs who pop all their coloured balloon apples first wins. Simple, isn't it? So it's just as well they have their sharp pincer claws. Check them out. Hey. Oh, yes. Hey. Right, let's get on with it. I've got the apples. And I've got the crabs. So, both the tigers and the zebras are in place. Granny Smith, are you ready to release the crab apples? Yes. Do you, Granny Smith, proud? Yeah. We're ready. Three, two, one. Pinch away! Okay. Come on, release the balloons. Here they come. come. There's a couple of the red ones trapped up there. We need to give it a good pull. Come on. Granny Smith, keep pulling that net. That's it. Give it a bounce. That's it. Come on, Peggy. Come on. OK, the rest, of the, the rest of the apples are coming down. This is right. not an easy game to play at all. Find the balloon comes down out the net. Or the apple, rather. Right, OK, game on. Go to the left, then to the right. That's it, you can do it. I think the exhaustion is setting in. There's definitely more red than green here. Use the, use the sharp bit of the claw. Well done, Claudia, well done. Have a breather, have a little breather. It's starting to look like the greens are going ahead here, fellas. Jack and Harry, come on. Come on, you've got to use these ones as well. Come on, then. Right down by the side. Use your arms. That's it, Jack. Use all you've got. You've got to talk to each other. You've got to talk. Give it all you've got. Oh, there goes another green. So, Claudia, tell and George what you want to do. Go forwards, go backwards. You've got four to go. That's team Tigers are going to do it. Come on, Team Tigers. Quick, there's two here. There's one there. Talk to each other. Make sure you talk to each other. You've got two more to go, two more to go. Claudia, there's two more to go. That's one. If you get that one and then the next one, you have won the game. Red spot, OK, you've got one more. One more to go. One more to go for the green. The Tigers are going to do it. If they pop this last one, they've, done, they've won the game. Boys, come on, quick. You've got another ten to go. Quick, get popping. Jack, Harry, as fast as you can. Talk to each other. The Tigers have got one crab apple. If they can pop it, they've won the game. If they can pop it, they've won the game.
while we get our breath back, let's have an action replay, shall we? Cool! The tigers were always pinching above their weight, but that last green crab apple proved hard to squash. But not for long. hi Wee-hee! Tigers win! I think it's fair to say there, Team Zebras, that they gave you a bit of crab stick in that game, didn't they? Ooh, a bit of stick. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Which means that the Tigers are going through to the next round, everybody. Yeah. It's the Gundulator for you. We'll see you there. Well done. Which means, Team Zebra, you're going away with your wheel pencil sharpness. I'll just leave them on there for you for later on. Uh, you've got those. And, of course, one more thing. What's that, Basil? They get their G-R-H. Yeah. They're Gorilla Rag. Hey! Yeah. I don't know what you're going to do here. But, uh, give me a push. Give me a push. <laughs> Welcome to Basil's Graveyard of Terror. Without further ado, I shall begin. Over the hill and through the valley, across the town and down the alley. He's huge, he's hairy, he's very strong. He's not a monkey, he is King Kong! <laughs> Oh, oh, the Empire strikes back. Barney, Barney, stop it. What? what are you doing? I'm being a scary ping pong. It's King Kong, not ping pong. You and I are going to have a ding dong. I did wonder about that. I don't feel very scary. <laughs> Graveyard of Terror. You know that anti-gravity machine I built? Yeah. Phil, I turned it on the other day, and the police came and arrested me. Why? They said I'd broken the laws of physics. Here we go again. In recent weeks, I have introduced this bunch of super dweebs, and every week, I am utterly disappointed. I don't know why I do it. Why do I even bother? It really does get me down, you know. My brother Barry has a great job cleaning windows. Maybe I could stop doing this and help him. I know, I'll give him a call right now. Uh, oh, and the story continues. Blah, blah, blah. Stop crying, it doesn't matter. It does matter. We, we're useless. Just, you know, the mysterious bad guy is still at large. Oh. Swindon is still missing. Oh. And I haven't foraged anything for good in weeks. I'm, oh. I'm just, I, 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 I'm useless. I'm useless. Useless? That's such a hard word. <laughs> you know what your problem is? You're too, <laughs> you're too negative and wrapped up in all this bad stuff. You need to start thinking about the positives. The positives. The positives. Name me one good positive. Name me one thing that's good to me in my life right now. Just one thing. Go on, name me that's one. That's easy. <laughs> Foxman. Foxman. Call that a positive, the smelly little. Oh. Oh. Hi, Foxman. Hi, Foxman. Ah, hello. Now, Forager, I understand you're feeling a little blue at the moment. Well, I have taken. <laughs> I have taken it upon myself to cheer you up. We can't take on the might of the mysterious bad guy if everyone's so depressed and down, can we? So it's time for Misery to step off the bus! Yeah! What? <laughs> what do you mean? Please welcome happiness gurus to the stars. Here they are. Cue the Merrymakers! Yeah! Come on in! Hi, everybody! Oh, I'm happy! And I'm go lucky! Yeah. And together we're... Merrymakers, the one, Merrymakers, the one you need to cheer up is over there on the chair. Be very gentle with him. Don't worry, Foxman. We'll turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Hello. Why are you so grumpy, grumpy, grumpy? grumpy. <laughs> Leave me alone. 
I'm fine being miserable, thanks. Do you think that Mr and Mrs Pokey would agree with you? <laughs> Mr and Mrs Pokey? <laughs> well... <gasps> I'm Mr. Pokey. And I'm Mrs. Pokey. And we're here to cheer you up. Are you ready? I'm ready. Me, 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 me. Pokey, 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 Get out. Wait, wait. Can I say bye to Mr. and Mrs. Pokey? <laughs> no, you can't. Come on, out oh, now. No, wait Go a on. second, Go wait on. a second. Go. Look, the oh, money makers. Oh, Goodbye. Oh, yes, very makers good. took time yeah. out of their very busy schedule to help you, Foraker. Now be grateful. Oh, God. <laughs> Hooray! 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 You know what? Yeah, well, Even though I broke that prop duck, <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel a lot better now they've gone. Hooray! Hooray! Ah. See? See, I told you I could do it. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Next week on Zeros, accusations of sexism are levelled at our crime-fighting trio. Look, it wasn't because B.O. girl was female. It's because she ponged so much. <laughs> Red Melvin slips through the mysterious bad guy's evil net. Actually, I think I'm stuck. And the Forager tries out for a new band of superheroes. I could be part of the Merrymakers. Forget your troubles, come on, get happy. We're going to chase all the cares away. Yeah! That, that was, was rubbish! rubbish. Yeah. Zeros, making their city, sorry, their settee, a safer place. It's the final game for the big prizes. It is, and just Team Tigers are left. Now, Rihanna, as you know, is a huge R&B pop star. And we've got one of her biggest fans here today. That's right. And uh, she's opened her own umbrella shop in honour of Rihanna's biggest hit. Please welcome, Piana! Come get your umbrellas, Ella's, Ella's, small ones. Medium ones, big ones for all kinds of rain. Small rain, medium rain, big rain, chocolate rain. <laughs> so how are the umbrellas selling, Piena? Not that well, actually. If it doesn't rain, I don't sell any umbrellas, Ella's, Ella's. <laughs> but I do have a little dance to help encourage the rain. Do you want to see it? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, please. All right. Oh. Do you know what? What? Let's have a Gangelator game and a bit of a laugh by delivering things that end in Ella to Piena. What a good idea. Please don't stop the Gangelator. Eta, Eta. the drill by now, girls. At the end of the gondolator is our top R&B star, Piana. Hello, Jay-Z. How's tricks? Yeah, yeah, man. So I'm in this London cab and the driver turns off the radio and starts rabbiting on about Beyonce. So I tell him, please don't stop the music and shut up and drive. Oh, dear. So there are going to be five levels to face, OK? With each level, the gondolator gets quicker and there are going to be five obstacles, making it harder the more you progress through the game. And there are five prizes to be won, one for each level. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's get the gondolator moving. Dr. John, crank him up. Okay, this is level one. This is for the dart player's favourite, the wheelie bin pencil sharpeners. Come on, John, you can do it. Come on. Come on, Claudia. Come on, well done. Good catch. Big job. Take your time. Take your time. Good job. Level two, the gondolator is getting faster. They said we couldn't send a man to the moon or make puzzles from balls. How wrong they were. This is for the puzzle balls. Come on. Oh, it's getting a bit quicker. That's it, give it a good pull. Right, right. Big runner. Take your time. Big runner. Take your time. Big jump, big jump. Oh, good jump. Watch out for the brollies. On the replay, a salty leap from Georgia there. 
Level three, the gun delivery is getting faster. Science knowledge gets you a better job, they say. It's fact. Science kits up the grabs. Go on, Gloria. Come on, Gloria, you can do it. OK, she's going for the, the best seller. Ella, Ella. Beautifully handled. OK, jump over the golden microphone now, Gloria. Keep Come hold on. of the best seller. That's my best Big seller. Oh, well done, well done. Oh, so close. Watch out for the obstacles. The book's a good read, and Claudia shows good speed. MP3 player. Oh, me, it's sad. Uh. And now it's level four. The gundulator is speeding up. Listen to music in secret. Up for grabs, it's the MP3 players. OK, she's going for the high ella. Take your time. Take your time, Claudia. Keep hold of it. OK, take a nice long run up to the golden microphone. Big run up. A big run up there, Georgia. Come on, you can do it. And a rasp. Well done, well done. OK, squeeze through the headphones. Beautiful. Ella, Ella, Ella. A very tasty paella. Hop, skip it a jump from Georgia. Hooli! It's now the top level, level five. The gundulator is getting so much faster, it's at its top speed. And the top prize is up for grabs. A top sci-fi toy exterminate. <laughs> This is it, this is the last on, one, the last run. Which one you can do it? You've got your propeller. Come on, Gondulator's going very quick. Fly over a big run up with the microphone. Fly over. Big jump. Oh, 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 OK, punch for it. Keep punching. Hit as hard as you can. Kick, punch, punch. punch. Propeller-powered leap from Claudia. Those speakers don't stand a chance. Big, big, bassy beats. Eh, good girl, done good. Oh, yeah, and piano, over the moon. Quite possibly the biggest show of skill ever on the Grunge Later game. How are you feeling there, George? Yeah, really good. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Claudia? Very happy. Would you like to see your prizes that you've won? Yeah. All of them. Bring them in, gorillas. Look at this. That's what it's all about. Well, that's how you do it in style, mate. So we have some very pleased gundulators, but it still hasn't rained, so sadly, Piana hasn't sold any brollies. Uh, nothing another little rain dance won't put right, though. Uh. <laughs> Told you it was super fast. Unfortunately, the time has flown by super fast and we've run out of it. So you'll have to join us again next time on Bezel's Game Show. I can't wait for it. I hope the time goes by super fast till the next one. Boom, boom! Boom, boom! It's not just the telly that's great here on CBBC. CBBC Extra sent Mohammed along to Chelsea's training ground to play a sport relief lingo bingo with top midfielder Sean Wright Phillips. And if you want to find out how he got on, Press red now. Greetings! <laughs> I am Fartleberry from the planet Zyorg. Zyorg is very different from your world. Oh yes, on Zyorg, football boots are made of cheese and Tracy Beaker is a pony. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have travelled many light years in search of the most valuable substance in the galaxy. Snow! <laughs> oh, yes, gloriously grainy, gloomy, gloomy snow. <laughs> my eyeball is going for a walk down my face. Up later, Misty must compete against Kurtz to see who Misty's true music life partner is in Free Phonics. Then the children in the smokehouse are showing their parents the disgusting effects smoking has on them. That's all after a little bit of Cramp Twins. <laughs>